Hey, this is Greg with My Perfect Dream Home, and uh, I've been actively involved in real estate, and the big thing that I'm seeing and why I wanted to make this video is rentals have gone through the roof in price. It's crazy what's happening. I used to rent many years ago. 20 years ago, I could rent a, a two-bedroom apartment for $700 or $750 a month, and now the average price on a rental is $2,000 a month just for an apartment, and for a house... You might be able to get a house in a in a who knows what area for that, but if you really want a decent area in a in a nice house, uh, minimum twenty five hundred all the way up to five six thousand dollars a month. It really just depends on what you want. But why I'm making this video, uh, being in real estate, we work with a bunch of different companies, and I work with a company that actually has the most incredible lease to buy program. So anybody that's involved in renting, I would highly suggest you get a hold of me. I can go over the program with you and I can tell you all about it and I can tell you what they can do. But here's the deal. You can get a three-year deal where you put some money down just like you do when you rent. The security deposit, the first month's rent, and then you start making your payments. But you can get into a program like that that's an actually lease to buy program where instead of just blowing your money and wasting it, you're going to have a certain percentage every month that's going to be saved for the security deposit down on that house. I'm going to cover some of the points on rentals versus lease to buy, and you'd make the decision for yourself. I'd love to talk to you and make you uh, find exactly what you're looking for and help you save. This is a great investment. Listen to these points. Here are 10 points highlighting why home rentals might not be the best financial decision. Number one, no equity accumulation. Rent payments do not contribute to property ownership or build equity, which means you're not investing an asset that can grow in value. Number two, no ownership benefits. As a renter, you don't benefit from potential increases in property value or market appreciation. Any appreciation in value benefits the property owner, not the renter. Three, limited customization. Renters often have restrictions on making modifications or improvements to the property. This picture is showing people that are painting. Could be a number of things which can limit your ability to personalize your living space. Number four, rent increases. Landlords can increase rent sometimes significantly, which can affect your budget and financial stability. And I can tell you being here in the state of Florida, that's out of control. The rent keeps going up month after month after month. Everybody I know that's renting, their rates have skyrocketed. So anybody that wants to learn about this program, get a hold of me. Number five, sunk costs. Rent payments are considered a sunk cost. They're spent on the use of the property, but don't result in any future financial gain or ownership benefits. Number six, no tax benefits. Homeowners can benefit from tax deductions on mortgage interest and property taxes, but renters do not have these tax advantages. Number seven, no long-term investment. Rent payments do not contribute to long-term financial growth or investment, unlike mortgage payments that contribute to building equity over time. Number eight, possibility of lease non-renewal. And that's happening a lot. I've seen it more than ever before. Your lease might not be renewed at the end of the term, which can lead to unexpected moves and associated costs. And some of that's happening because they can let you out and bring new people in and charge them more money because the rates have gone through the roof. Nine, Lack of asset control. Renters have no control over the property's management or maintenance decisions, which can impact their living conditions and financial situation if the property falls into despair. Number 10, and the last point I'm going to cover on rentals, is potential financial instability. If the rental market is tight or rents increase significantly, finding an affordable rental can become challenging, leading to potential financial instability or the need to move frequently and trust me that's happening a lot here in the state of Florida. These points emphasize how renting often lacks the financial benefits and stability associated with owning a home. Okay so I covered the 10 points on rentals. Now I want to get into the 10 points on lease to buy programs which could be very beneficial financially compared to renting. The first point is equity building. On a lease-to-buy program, a portion of your lease payments often go toward the purchase price of the home 
allowing you to build equity over time which contributes to the eventual ownership. Number two, future purchase option. At the end of the lease term, you have the option to buy the property, allowing you to lock in the price and potentially benefit from property value increases. Number three is price lock-in. Many lease-to-buy programs include a fixed purchase price or a price formula protecting you from market fluctuations that could increase property values. Number four is pathway to ownership. Lease-to-buy programs provide a structured path to home ownership without requiring a large upfront down payment, making it easier to transition from renting to owning. Number five is improvement flexibility. You typically have more freedom to make improvements or customize the property during the lease term, which can enhance both your living experience and the property's value. Number six is credit buying opportunity. Making timely lease payments and demonstrating financial responsibility can help build or improve your credit score. Rent credits. This particular program takes a portion of your monthly payment and applies it towards the purchase price or what they would call the down payment. Number eight is stable monthly payments, and obviously this is extremely important given what's happening with rent right now. Lease to buy agreements often have fixed monthly payments, which can help with budgeting and financial planning, unlike fluctuating rental rates, which are beyond belief right now. They're fluctuating everywhere. This particular program, and you'd have to get a hold of me to get all the details and information, but essentially you have a three-year deal, and the rates are locked in the first year. This is the monthly payment for your rent. The second year, it goes up 5%. The third year, goes up another 5%. And that's it. It's locked in. And all your money can go towards that down payment on the house. Number nine, test living in the home. The lease period always allows you to experience living in the home and neighborhood before committing to purchase, helping ensure it's the right fit for your long-term needs. Number 10, and this is the last one I'm going to cover on the lease to buy, is potential tax benefits. Once you purchase the property, you may be eligible for tax benefits, such as mortgage interest deductions and property tax deductions, which are not available to renters. It's another reason why owning a home is so much better than just renting. And in rent, you'll have nothing to show for. These advantages highlight how a lease to buy program can provide financial benefits and stability that renting alone does not offer. For more information about how a lease to buy program can benefit you financially and to explore available options, please reach out to me directly. You can check out my website which is posted below or you can do a call or text to me and I can help you out. I can give you all the detailed information. I'm here to provide all the details you need to make an informed decision and start your path to home ownership. Thank you for watching. I'd highly encourage you to play this with anybody you know that's renting or is looking to buy a house and maybe they're not in a position to come up with a down payment right now. This is something that can definitely benefit them.